Let's let's talk about 20th Century Boys. Though, okay, because that is a that is actually a good manga. Okay, this is my favorite manga of all time. Uh, it's brilliant. I've never read this. I've been wanting to read this. I've actually got it downloaded, ready to read. Everything by uh, Urasawa. Uh, I can is, I can give you the manga volumes yeah. instead. That, oh, you have a, them with you? Yeah, that's in English. Yeah, in English. Oh shit, man. that's a, that's a much what better. What other language is going to read it? Time. <laughs> but no, I mean, the cover looks badass. Yeah, oh, so yeah, it's fucking amazing. So 20th Century Boys is my favorite manga of all time. And I've, I only read this just before moving to Japan. Mm, and it's, okay. it's, it's kind of like the Oyasumi Punpin where I knew I would love this for ages. Mm. And I held off reading it until I had just the right amount of time and mm. the right mindset. Mm. And that just so happens when I had the few week break before I moved to Japan. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I am now ready to experience <laughs> I am now ready for emotion. Yeah. And it lived up to everything and more. I like, I, I knew it was like a magnum opus of a piece of work yeah. and I still like, it's it's amazing, but also it like every, every lesson and every message it tried to say, like it spoke to me personally as well. Mm, so okay. it was kind of like a mixture of, Personally, this was my kind of story, and also it's a ma an amazing story. This is this was the manga that made me go, "Wow, Urasawa Naoki is a fucking genius." Can you give yeah. me a very quick rundown of the plot? Sure, sure. I don't it's, really know okay, about so it. it's yeah. uh, I'll, I'll, it's pretty convoluted plot, isn't it's, it? It's a very just give me the most most bare bones explanation. Okay, so I'll, I'll try to sell you on this as quickly as possible. So, um, so imagine like when you're growing up as a kid, right? You play hero and villains, right? And so. Like you, you play a hero and someone plays the hero and someone plays the villain. And normally a super villain, they try to take over the world, right? It's a cartoony plot. They take over the world and the hero stops them. Now, what if you could make this very childish plot believable? That is basically what 20th Century Boys is, right? That sounds cool. It's someone who basically tries to take over the world and Naoki, Naoki Urasawa went, how can we actually make this actually seem realistic mm. and feasible and terrifying and terrifying as yeah. well. That's that's like the bare bones basic premise of this. What I love about this is that it's kind of like a mystery. So it doesn't open up with that that premise. What mm. it opens up with is this guy who's just a normal guy who stumbles upon a, cons a conspiracy, right? And so of course, you stumble upon a conspiracy and you see how deep this how deep this conspiracy goes. There's right? a flat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And it the way the story unravels is that like you are given pieces just to how how deep mm. this conspiracy th uh, this conspiracy goes and how far it runs. Mm. And the more chapters you read, normally like you see a mystery and like you can, you're able to like kind of get a feel for like how big this mystery is, right? What I find fucking amazing about 20th Century Boys is that I was like five to 10 volumes in or something like that. And it felt like I was staring into an abyss in terms of this <laughs> mystery. Mm -hmm. Like this, this, this feeling where you just don't know how deep this rabbit hole goes. Like you, you were just like, there's no way this can go deeper. Mm -hmm. And then something gets revealed and you're like, where does this oh, end? Fuck. How the fuck, how far does this, does this go? Yeah. And like the way that, and that's what I find, I find that incredible. There's no, been no other mystery that's just given me this feeling of just like, it's, it was kind of like almost existential dread because I didn't know how far this sank mm. or how, how deep this went. Um, and it's probably like, it's my favorite manga of all time. I think it's my favorite mystery of all time. But that's how is just I'm sold. so amazing at writing these just mysteries where it's just like, you don't know where it's going. This and also, I don't know about you, mm -hmm. but Urasawa Naoki, I feel is a genius at writing some of the most perfect antagonists yeah, in yeah. manga. I mean, he also did Monster. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, okay. You should have said that. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's same guy right. Monster. <laughs> right, okay. Same guy okay, who wrote okay, Monster. Yeah, I'm sold, I'm sold. But like Monster is like way more character driven, and I, th I think it's like much more smaller scale. Mm. This one is like a fucking massive yeah, this scale. This fucking sucks. There's so much to read now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And like this Fuck. is this is never going to get an anime adaptation never. because like compared to Monster, got a this is. <laughs> This is, yeah, I don't know. Well, it's really, shit? Yeah, it's yeah, shit. It's shit. But I mean, compared to Monster, this this would be like hundreds of episodes oh, yeah, maybe, yeah. because that's just that's just how- like, that's Monster just how was like 70 runs. something episodes. This, yeah, this yeah. would easily be like 150, 200 episodes. Yeah, I'm yeah. down, make it yeah. happen. Hunter Hunter got over 148. True. Yeah, so let's, and uh, yeah, let's I, I feel like it's the greatest manga I've ever read. And yeah, it's definitely I, up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I mean, is there anything more than that? Can, can you give a higher <laughs> praise than that? That's yeah, the, like, it's, that, it's my- I guess I have to read it. You have to read it. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's my, uh, it's, 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 I, I, I like, I, I can't even pick a favorite anime of all time, but the fact that I can pick a favorite manga of mm. all time. is telling. That, that's telling. Ladies man. and gentlemen. We got him. <laughs> we got him. And okay, it's not domestic girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly. Thank fuck in the that. middle. <laughs> Thank fuck for that.
<laughs> oh, I, I didn't put anything significant in my middle one. I just clicked. And <laughs> I mean, I, right. I should have. I should have. Yeah. It, it was the Oromo square. That's why I put it in the middle. Yeah. 